nothing but love for my hood and these streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. From my block to your block, come on. I said, Garcia, he's a homie that came from the barrio, worked his way out a little bit, you know what I'm saying, but um, never forgot about where he came from, loves his family, loves his hometown, and the people that, that uh, I make music for, that's how I spread my love around, I'm getting I had me going crazy, I was slipping away. Others gone. That's what they say. Now it's payback. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back. Me back. Just when I thought I was out. the one ways. Uh, we moved over here to my grandfather's house, just a couple houses uh, down over here off of Nava. Uh, when I was in like eighth grade and I started going to Excelsior High School right here across the street. It's pretty dangerous around here all the time, you know what I mean? You always have to watch your back. You know, I had my homies to back me up, I backed them up. But, you know, you just can't cover it all times, you know what I'm saying? And homies went down, so it was kind of crazy. But as a kid, growing up off of 161st out here, it was pretty cool. It was still dangerous though. Still had a one, we had to run away from a gang of homies when I was in first grade, man. Jumping fences because they wanted to get my cousin, but you know, so it was always, it was always, uh, you know, uh, violent, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we learned how to deal with it, and that's how you, that's how you live, just loped up and dealt with it, you know. But there's a lot of love, too, man. A lot of love, that familia out here, too, man. And I'll show you what's up. Never did nothing with it. She just sang to us all the time. But uh, my father, my stepfather, Richard Garcia, he bought me my first guitar when I was three years old. Taught me how to play it when I was like six, seven. Uh, he had a big collection of all kinds of music, man. Blues, rhythm and blues, jazz, uh, rock and roll, all the Beatles stuff, all the jazz stuff, all the blues stuff. And he says, you know what, son? You could listen to my records if you want but I'm gonna kick your ass if you scratch any of them. So I made sure I didn't scratch, but I listened all day long. Uh, we were living in like El Sereno at the time. Uh, we lived all over East LA, man. We lived, uh, my musical influences from the beginning of my life was East LA, man. Uh, we were in Boyle Heights, we were in City Terrorists, Lincoln Heights, then we moved to Sereno, and finally ended up heading out to Norwalk uh, we bought, my dad bought a house out there for a while in the, in the barrio on 161st. And uh, they, they joined the Chicano movement and that took us up to the Bay Area. And that's where I learned about the funk. My cousin Joey says, hey man, you ever heard of uh, Parliament Funkadelic? And I said, what the hell is that? And he started playing me some George Clinton Parliament. Man, I was sprung like a motherfucker. And I was all about the funk after that.
back down. We, we lived up there for a few years in uh, Oakland and in San Jose. And uh, I was an LA boy, I was an LA boy. We came back down to Norwalk and I had to prove myself all over again, homie. And that's when I started hanging out in the hood and shit, you know what I mean? Handling business. And uh, we tried to start a little band called the Brown Sound, me and the homies, right? And that's when I realized that uh, they were like, hey, homie, you can sing, man. We do whopping on the corners and stuff. And I go, can I? I said, all right. So I started singing. Wound up uh, a couple of years later singing at church, believe it or not. Later on in about my mid-20s, must have been around, oh man, 89, 90 is when I met Tony G, original mix master, uh, the producer. And he, um, he put me on with some of his artists. Finally, he put me on with Frost, ALT, another Latin time bomb, uh, Slow Pain. And uh, eventually I met Easy e doing that. And that's how I met the Brown Side, Toker from the Brown Side. And when me and Toker got together, man, we were, we were cool, man. And then uh, we did Rest in Peace. And after that, we were like brothers. My brother, I keep wondering why the Lord had to take. They started uh, snowballing, you know, at the G spot, man. We started uh, our music was doing good, mostly barrio hits, you know, and that's all right with me. And uh, stuff I did with Kid Frost, from what I understand, uh, La Familia went went platinum, you know what I mean? And uh, East Side Story went gold. And then, like I said, with the Brown Side, the East Side Drama, that was a big barrio hit too, man. With uh, Do or Die, and uh, so Easy came in and he wanted to take us to the next level. So he had me and Frost, uh, Slow Pain, and a few other, the group ALT. We were gonna sign with uh, Sony Japan through Easy e And we all know what happened, you know, I mean, uh, Bone Thugs came out and we were gonna be next. And, uh, you know, Easy passed away, unfortunately. Rest in peace, you know, he was our brother. And we loved him. And. Uh, after that, I got, had to get a Holly, man. I had kids, I had bills to pay, man. So I got a Holly, man, for 20 years at MTA. Midnight Cruisers, after uh, Howard Scott and Joe Truck from War talked me back into the bit. I didn't do nothing for eight years. I didn't even want to sing after Easy died, man. And I was just, you know, doing my highly, man. Uh, I was a mechanic. And uh, they talked me back into the biz. I wrote a song with Howard Scott. And then I started my band with my brother, Paul Garcia, in uh, 05. So I'm just jamming with my band, having a good time. I get to play with all my heroes, you know what I mean? The guys from War, you know, Tony Allen, you know, Mr. Night Owl, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Archie Bell, all these oldies cats, man, we're all having a good time. So one day, man, I'm at the Halle. I had it made over there. Uh, I was a yard dog over there at the MTA yard in East LA. And uh, I'm kicking back, drinking my coffee. I get a call on my phone, and uh, it's about the name uh, George. AKA Snoopy Lokes. And I said, What's going down, homie? He's like, Hey, you Rich Garcia? And I said, Yeah. He goes, Man, I've been looking for you for like two years, man. I said, What's this about, man? And he's like, Well, I'm calling on behalf of Toker from the Brown side. And I said, Wait, wait, wait. Run that by me again, homie. Who? Toker from the Brown side. And I was really happy to hear that because I hadn't seen Toker in a long time. Let me just put it that way. And I mean, we went different ways after Easy died, and I don't know, I didn't know what to expect, you know. And I said, well, first of all, 
how's Toker doing, man? And he says, Toker's good, homie. Toker's doing good. And I says, Ooh, I'm glad, man. I was so happy that he was doing good and things were going good. And I said, so what, what does he need from me? And he's like, well, he wants you to come down to the studio and work on the new CD called Banging Stories. And then it was only going to be a one CD, uh, you know, project, but wound up being two CDs after we started working on stuff. And I said, I'm with it, man. And when I saw Toker again, face to face, man, it was like no time had ever passed. And we were like brothers again. Barrio Chronicles, man, it's, uh, we're trying to just tell stories of stuff that, that uh, happens to people in the barrio, uh, mostly like gangsters that we knew, stuff that happened to us. We're telling stories, street stories, but putting them into music, you know, and rather than have too much rap, it's mostly melodic. That's right. With, with a, with a hip-hop funk, something a little different for the time right now. Uh, still got that old school. Uh, sound, you know what I mean? It's got that old uh, barrio feel to it, you know what I mean? Because I mean, straight up, bro, I mean, the music that I'm doing, I'm doing it for the homies and homegirls, you know what I mean? But it seems to me that it's catching on with people beyond the barrios, barrios in other countries, barrios in, in you know, other blocks all over the, the country, you know what I mean? And I hope that everybody will enjoy it. You got a man, and I got a woman too. Are you tripping or what you saying? What you trying to do? Fuck the baby. You knew it was a one night stand. Fuck the baby. It was only just a one night thing. Now you want to the pump. Make money, hit the pussy, and bomb ass raps. It influenced the shit out of my music, man. I mean, uh, most of my stuff is based on soul and funk music, rhythm and blues in general, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, I love rock and roll and stuff like that, but a big part of it is soul and rhythm and blues. It means a new beginning for me. It means, um, you know, finally getting my shot to do what I've always wanted to do that I never got a chance to do, you know? It means, Hopefully, uh, being able to, you know, keep things, keep keep our heads above water at the pad with the family. So sexy, baby. Ooh, oh, yeah. just had to step to you. Cause you're driving me crazy. Yeah. You fuck like you dance, girl. Let me take you. to start off a certain way uh, mostly as uh, remakes of the old hits we did you know with Brownside and that kind of got me to uh, writing music again I am a published writer uh, nothing no big hits or anything but I am a published writer songwriter and I was able to pick that pen up again and start being creative again and not only do one style of music but I got several styles in there that we listen to all, all through our lives. And I was able to put that in there and write my own material. Legacy I would like to leave behind. Um, kid from the barrio, East LA, man. You know what I mean? Born in East LA. Came up in Norwalk. Uh, right across the street from where Poncho Sanchez used to live. Maybe there's something out there, I don't know. But just that uh, I made good music and I put love through my music to 
those those here in the barrio and gave them hope. You know what I mean? And uh, to my Chicano brothers and sisters, hope oh, me, that if I could do it, they could do it. I took